Hey guys, welcome back. This question comes to us from The Punisher. So this is like my favorite type of comment. You got the creative spelling of thanks, a little politeness here, not necessary, but doesn't hurt. And then it gets right down to business and asks, how can I change the menu font, just the menu? Love the specificity there. So let's do it. Thank you, Punisher. We see the um, video it was asked on, and I know the demo website that's for, so we're actually gonna learn how to change the menu font on this website, but it will also work on any website, which will be nice. I thought of just telling you guys to use the Site Origin Custom CSS plugin, which I'll link below. That one hooks up to your whole site and you can click on parts of your homepage and then change the CSS and it'll write the CSS for you, but there's a small chance it won't work on your theme, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, writing our own custom CSS. All right, so let's log in. And all you need to do, no matter your WordPress blog or site or theme, is to just change the menu font. You want to right click on the menu itself. So pick a menu tab, it doesn't matter which one. I usually like going with something other than the first one. Right click on services and click inspect. And once you do that, you're going to get the HTML on the left and the CSS on the right that our theme developers made. And then on the right, you just need to click around and try to find where the font is. You usually need to scroll down a little bit. We see font size, float left, and then finally we see a font family, which is exactly what we're looking for. Once we find the font family, we can just check it on and off to confirm that that is the right CSS and it's working on the menu. Perfect, you can also change other things like, you know, sometimes you can change the weight, sometimes things will be crossed off for reasons that we're not always sure of, but there's always an answer. So to change only the menu font, click on this CSS selector right here. Just click once and it will highlight. Then right click in that tiny little space and copy. Now come back to your dashboard and we want to navigate to our custom CSS window. So you might have one in customize, but we've installed the Theme Junkie custom CSS plugin. So we can just hover on appearance and click custom CSS. We have a few things that we wrote to make the um, image slider text bigger. All right, then we can make a couple spaces and write out our new CSS. But the good news is we don't even need to write it because we copied it, so we can just paste it. Next, make a space and an alligator bracket, an open alligator bracket. Hit enter and write in a new font, which is denoted by font family. All right, then the colon. And then you can just change it to whatever you want. All right, so lately I've been liking to Homa, so you can try that one. Make sure to write in the semicolon, hit enter, and write a closed little bracket like that. Are these called alligator brackets? Or is alligator the math one? All right, in any case, we're done now. We've selected our new font. We just need to save it. Now we can refresh our site and see if we see the new font. All right, and if you don't see the new font, it's because you either wrote something wrong or because the caching is on and it's not showing us the most up-to-date version of your site. It's showing us a cached version. I think it's the second one because it's not picking up the font in the CSS. So this could happen to you. We just want to go back to our dashboard now. And we're going to try to go to Settings, WP Super Cache. And I'm just going to do Caching Off because Sometimes it's good to have caching off when you're updating your site, making a lot of changes to turn it off. And now refresh it. And I think it worked. It's hard to tell, but oh, there we go. We got it. So now the main nav ULLIA is Tahoma. If you get rid of Tahoma, it's going to fall back on Railway, which is still written here. Just crossed off because we're not using it. And there you have it. All right, so that's how to change the font family, or in other words, just the font of your navigation menu items in WordPress. Um, I hope that also gives you a hint on how to change the font size, the color, and other features in your menu items. All right, as usual, thanks for watching. Big thanks to The Punisher for proposing that nice question and inspiring this tutorial. All right, thanks for watching, guys, because I love making these for you, and I'll see you all next time. All right, and if you want to write your CSS perfectly, which is a good idea in the long run, and follow the standards that the Sydney or your theme developers did, then we can write in the serif or the sans serif 
after a little comma there. I just don't remember which one Tahoma is. Tahoma is a humanist sans serif. Perfect. So to come back and write uh, sans serif. All right, so that won't change the font. It's not like you can write serif and make it a serif or sans serif and get rid of the serif. That's just good CSS styling, just keeping the code good. You can also put quotes on Tahoma. Perfect. Now save it. All right. And we're in business. Great job.